This is a closer look with Joanna Baker, Registrar and Collection Manager at the Krieger Museum. And I'm joined again by painting conservator Aaron Stevenson of Stevenson Art Conservation. Today, we look at the treatment of a complicated multimedia work on cardboard created by Joan Moreau in 1935, called Two Personages or Du Personage. At first glance, Moreau's Two Personages appears to be painted solely using oil paint. A closer look at the highly textured surface reveals that Moreau incorporated found objects into the painting. Nails, ball bearings, cheesecloth, string, and sand. This painting has so many surface materials, Erin. What did you discover when you assessed the painting? The cheesecloth on the painting was very fragile, with a particularly delicate cracked and raised edge. A conservator treated it in the past to help secure the area, but it still showed signs of ongoing instability. There were some really small losses in the cheesecloth, and the white material you can see peeking out from under the cloth is supportive material that was put in place during that past treatment. The second condition issue I looked at was efflorescence over the yellow paint, and that occurs when components in the paint come to the surface and crystallize into a powdery white film. And it's not necessarily a serious condition risk to the painting, but it was really distracting and dulled the bright yellow of the original paint. So how did you go about treating this work? I started the treatment by addressing the fragile cheesecloth. A little dilute adhesive was fed slowly under the cracked areas to stabilize the fragile edge and help prevent more losses. And then the white supportive material was trimmed and toned so it would not be noticeable. Then the efflorescence was reduced slowly and methodically from the surface. I used tools to gently remove the crystals while being careful to avoid affecting the original. And you can see the small piles of the collected crystals in the slides. Well, you can certainly see many subtle and not so subtle changes in the painting surface in these um, before and after photos. Here's some great pictures of the cheesecloth treatment. And here you can see the vibrant color change once the efflorescence was removed. Thank you so much, Erin, for sharing your expertise and the treatment of Moreau's two personages.